to the Porsche stand where Porsche debuted the new Porsche Macan 2014, the new uh, compact SUV, which is uh, absolutely going to be a hit for uh, Porsche, in, not only here in the United States, but all around the world. Well, uh, thank you very much. We're with uh, New. Can we still say New? <laughs> See you for Porsche Latin America. Yep, I'd say quite new. Three months into the job, so uh, finding my feet now around the region and uh, learning all of the intricacies of uh, the markets. Yeah. So Porsche Latin America is based in Miami, but like attends all the the region, right? Correct. Yeah. How many markets? Uh, we have 16 uh, markets, 16 countries. Uh, 22 importers and 48 dealers. So, uh, yeah, it's quite wide, quite diverse, and uh, yeah, very large coverage. And here, and we're here at the Yale Auto Show at the world debut of the Macan, which is going to be a very, very important product for us. Not only for that region, for the whole world, for Porsche, right? Absolutely. I mean, we're tremendously excited. That segment is a segment that uh, we've uh, not explored before. Um, it's obviously a smaller SUV segment, and obviously, if you look at the uh, segment share of that 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 uh, size, it's it's increasing five uh, percent almost every year now. So uh, to be in it uh, with the only real sports car. Uh, in that uh, segment is uh, a, a great uh, place to be right now. Yeah. So Porsche introduced the, the Cayenne, uh, what was it, like 12, 2003. 12, 2003, oh, yeah. 10 years only. Yeah. And there was a bit of controversy. Nowadays, there's no controversy. People want this kind of car. No, I think we, we very successfully demonstrated that when we did that uh, Cayenne project, that uh, we were able to keep the principles of a Porsche uh, and develop them into an SUV, and that's why that is you know, a real sports car uh, in the SUV segment. And I think that uh, this will be easily accepted as well as a true Porsche because well, you've seen it yourself first hand it is a true Porsche yeah absolutely I like the blue, the blue better than the black but like in colors everybody has no taste right <laughs> absolutely yeah, no, so, and uh, plenty of color options yeah uh, being that it has obviously all the attributes from Porsche what's the, the most striking thing that people should know about it look I think that uh, you know it's, it's definitely going to be the performance vehicle in that segment um, it will it will have the same handling and dynamic uh, as any a Porsche will do. So it will perform incredibly well. Uh, the ergonomics internally are, are, are super. The quality of finish is very typically Porsche. The materials that we use are very typically high quality materials. Uh, you know and. You know that whenever you buy a Porsche, the longevity of that vehicle and the desirability of that vehicle uh, will last a lifetime. So uh, we're very excited by it. Yeah. And um, so the, they announced that the capacity, the production for the first year is going to be 50,000 units mm. uh, for the whole world. Yes. Uh, I think you're going to run out of <laughs> some problems there, no? Well, hopefully, but that will obviously create a demand. But I mean, you know, I think uh, it was touched upon very nicely today. You know, it, it's always our wish to have uh, one less car than we have a, a, a customer. Uh, and that keeps the brand and its exclusivity. And obviously, it's very important to us that... Uh, we still remain a very exclusive car company. And if you consider the total volume of cars that we produce, we're a very small fish yeah. in a very large pond. But we are exceptional at what we do, which is obviously making very fine sports cars. Yeah, yeah. and then the brand recognition and people are always say, uh, people want a Porsche. And, and I think that's going to be, even though it has all those the great characteristics of a Porsche, you think people are going to want it because it's just a, a, a small SUV with the Porsche brand? No, I, I, think, I think that um, the brand has such strong appeal and it's such an attractive brand. You know, um, I think that this now gives another opportunity for people that maybe didn't want a Cayenne because it was potentially too big. Um, or, you know, uh, it, it's another entry model into, into the brand. And I think that, you know, people will want to be associated with the brand because it has such history, such heritage. And you know that whenever you drive a Porsche, it's first and foremost a sports car. So, you know, you're going to get the best of two worlds. You know, you're going to get the uh, everyday functionality and usability of an SUV, but you're also going to have the characteristics and driving dynamics of a sports car. Yeah. And the uh, Macan comes in three variants, right? 
Yeah, uh, we are offering uh, currently the diesel and the S version and a turbo version. Uh, the turbo version obviously being the, the most powerful 400 brake horsepower uh, vehicle and uh, that I think will set the benchmark in that segment in terms of performance. So the car goes on sale when? Uh, we will be uh, in the Latin American region uh, launching around April, May time. So um, your orders can start getting placed now, uh, but uh, delivery won't be expected until around about April, May. Yeah, and then another part in Germany first, I guess, and then the US. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's it, the way it goes. Yeah, it's 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 not uncommon that it, it happens in that way, but. Uh, the rollout will be very quick around the world this time. There won't be any big gaps. Um, they'll come fairly swiftly at one after another. And the only thing will be any country homologations that might need to be considered for some of the markets, which might delay its entry into some of our markets uh, uh, more than others. But uh, as of May, pretty much it should be available in the majority of regions around Latin America. Okay, well, I can't wait to drive it. Uh, it looks fantastic. On the video we have watched already, but one thing is to watch and one thing is to drive it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I had the good fortune to drive it some while back, and I can promise it will not disappoint. It is a true Porsche, and uh, maybe when you get the chance to drive it, I'll sit beside you and you can uh, yeah, tell me your, your, your feedback live. Okay, maybe in Miami, but not in the traffic. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, there's no, but no fun there, but uh, actually still... Even that cabin is not a bad place to be, even yeah, stuck in yeah, traffic. Have a great conversation talking cars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank, Thank you very you. much for your time, and uh, welcome to Miami and yes, Latin America. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Brilliant. That was George Willis, the new CEO for Porsche Latin America at the Los Angeles Auto Show, talking about the new 2014 Porsche Macan. Y cuando regresemos vamos a hablar de dos debuts de Mercedes-Benz, el, el Mercedes-Benz AMG Vision Gran Turismo y el Mercedes-Benz B-Class Electric. Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Moto. 